All right, guys, this is Prince here, Royal Financial Investment Group. I'm responding to a question that I got of how do you purchase a mutual fund? Um, pretty much, essentially, let's go into what a mutual fund is. It's pretty much a uh, group of stock or a group of investments. They're all grouped together. Maybe uh, sometimes companies put them together, brokers put them together. They build their own funds. And um, pretty much, you know, like uh, for example, I can have a mutual fund I can create that can have Coca Cola, Walmart. You know, KFC, uh, Home Depot, um, and a numerous other companies. They're put together. Uh, they have one share price. You uh, invest into it, so it's not just uh, they're less they're less risky because they don't have as, as much exposure. So, if, for example, if you have Walmart, Apple, Google, all these companies at once, if one company does bad, another company does good, it kind of evens you out. So it minimizes your risk and it broadens your range of investments so here if you look at the screen here i have a uh, e-trade up i'm just going to show you uh step by step with inside of e-trade how you can purchase a mutual fund a mutual fund can be purchased through uh banks they can be purchased through um insurance companies there's a numerous amount of ways you can get them through uh Edward jones you can get them through a numerous ways i'm just going to show you through e-trade which is more of a hands-on approach of how you can find a mutual fund and how you can actually purchase one on your own uh if you go to a company let's say for example usaa they will ask you do you want to be aggressive moderate or conservative aggressive if you're young they're going to say, hey, you know, if you're young, you want to be aggressive. Aggressive means you want to go out there, take as many risks as possible. And if you take, the more risks you take, the smart risks you take, the more potential you have for gains. So if you're young, they're going to say, hey, you need to go out there, take a, a lot of risk and be aggressive with your investing so you can make as much money. Because if you lose money, you have time to recuperate over time. Moderate is if you're in the middle, I want to be a little aggressive, but I want to be a little conservative as well. So you want to be a little moderate and conservative, of course, is uh, you don't want to take that many risks. You know, you may be getting close to retirement. You're not you don't want to put your funds at that much risk. So you want to be in a steady, uh, a steady flow, a flat line, essentially. So usually if you're a young guy or a young person, female, if you plan on having it for 20, 30, 40 years, they'll say, hey, start off aggressive. And as you get older, become moderate. And once you get ready to retire, you want to be conservative. You don't want to be uh three years four or five years away from retirement taking large amounts of risk because you could possibly lose your whole retirement especially when you get to the point where you're getting ready to get ready to use it so if you're a young person you can uh, recuperate from that but if you're older you can't so here we're going to go through a step-by-step -step of uh how you can purchase one so you log on to e-trade you know if you go to one of my other videos i teach you how to uh create an e-trade account step by step uh you log on e-trade you go here to the research tab, as you can see here, you go to the research tab, and you go over to mutual funds. So here you have a mutual fund screener, right? So this is how you can decide for, hey, it's thousands and millions of mutual funds out there. How can I find mine? So you can go here by fund family. You can, It's a little question mark here that you can click on and it'll tell you what the fund family is. You know, it's pretty much the fund family. It's the company that's sponsoring the uh, mutual fund, right? And usually they have their name inside of it. So we're going to hit the little drop down menu. And you can say, hey, well, I want to go with this particular company, right? The advisory research, right? Then here you have a fund group. You can you can select what type of fund, you, fund group you want. All groups, you want alternative, you want balance, or what do you want? Uh, bear market, the bear market equity, long, short, depending on what your goal is for the mutual fund. Uh, or you can um, filter your mutual funds by their performance. How have they performed in three months, one year, ten years, five years, or whatever? Are they above average, uh, above average, average, or in the top 20%? You can say, hey, I want to look at mutual funds in the top 20% of performance in the last five years. Or whatever, right? Expense ratio. You know, if you buy a mutual fund, you have people that created these funds. You have fees, management fees, uh, broker fees, things like that. What expense ratio doesn't it create, you know, doesn't create, but it doesn't um, factor in broker fees. A broker fee is usually somebody that gets you into the fund, essentially. But uh, has your expense ratio for maintenance, administration fees that the mutual fund may have. So you can say, hey, less than 5%, 1% expense ratio that you want. Um, you can go down here to the Morningstar rating. You know, Morningstar, they go out there, rate 
mutual funds. Hey, this is a great one. It's pretty much somebody's recommendation. Uh, Morningstar is a very reputable company that's out there. Uh, you can go by fees, transaction fees, no load, no transaction fee, things like that. You can go through, you can filter out which ones you want, right? Then let's go up here. Let's see, can we get some hits first? We're going to go with all groups. Average, zero. Let's go with all funds for a second. All, for example, it's another one. That's a quick search. You can go to all funds, all star funds, right? Large cap. You can go to, uh, it's going to give you a couple companies just listed in here. Large cap companies, uh, medium to small cap companies. You can go to uh, international. You can go to fixed income, balance, or you can go to sectors, or you can go to alternatives, right? So you want to get into large cap companies. Hey, I want to make a fixed income, international, or whatever, right? So let's go with uh, fixed income. Let's go see, can we get on here? We're going to go to view 23 matches there. All right. And as you can see here, on your fixed um, on your fixed funds, it's going to come down with a couple of funds here. It's going to tell you their performance. These are the name of them: emerging markets, uh, NTF. That's the no transfer transition, no transfer fee. If I'm not mistaken. Um, it tells you how it performed in a one year return, three years. It tell you how it did in five years, how it did in ten years, how it how it has done since it has been established. You know, how is his growth, the net? You know, you can look at it, you can compare. You know, Pax World Yield Fund, it has, you can tell the returns it's made in seven years. These are great numbers compared to uh, a bank. If you go to a bank, you're going to get about 2 to 3% if you're lucky. So, and also another good thing about mutual funds is that a lot of them um, have dividends. It'll pay you dividends. Uh, dividends are pretty much, I made a video called Stocks 101. Stocks and dividends one on one. You can look at that one while I discuss dividends. But a quick recap is you get dividends from uh, like stocks pay dividends, for example, Coca Cola, uh, Verizon, Apple. They pay dividends. Dividends are paid out sometimes monthly, quarterly, depending on the company. They pay you, they pay their shareholders just for holding the company, for holding stocks in their company. So you get these dividends. You can enroll these dividends in a program called DRIP, direct, um, not direct, but Pretty much, you're gonna you can put it into your uh, drip fund, and drip fund it does. For example, hey, if I get twenty dollars uh, off of dividends from my Verizon stock, I can enroll it into drip dividend. It's the dividend reinvestment program. That's what drip stands for, dividend reinvestment program. Instead of giving me these twenty dollars into my account, I can take these twenty dollars and buy more stock with it. So these dividends are currently being not currently, but recurrently being reinvested 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 and grows over time so it's being reinvested buying you more shares buying you more shares buying you more shares so some mutual funds offer that that's something that you have to look into to see if the you know the mutual fund offers dividends if that's something you're looking forward to so you go in here you look at all these mutual funds and it'll tell you how they perform over the years um you can click on them here and it'll tell you how it perform it'll tell you what's what's uh is exactly what it's holding for example let's go uh click on Pax World here right Pax World high yield bond fund you know you can go in here you can go into the performance of it you know you can go to the risk ratings portfolio fees expenses you can get all the information you want on it and if you want to buy one it's just as simple right here you hit it you see the trade button here it has to buy and it has sell you click on it saying hey I want to buy it right now here's another thing right you see here minimum purchase initial purchase you must have two hundred fifty dollars to get into this. So if I want to buy this right now today, I must have two hundred fifty dollars. Some accounts have some mutual funds require a thousand, some require two thousand, some require you know a hundred dollars or whatever to start it. So initially, it's saying to start at two fifty. Every time you want to put into it, it requires it costs you fifty dollars to put something into it. Not costs you, but Every time you just can't go in and say, "Hey, I want to put ten dollars in it, twenty dollars in it." It's saying sequentially every time you want to put into this mutual fund, it's going to cost you fifty, not cost you, but you have to have a minimum of fifty dollars. So here, you go into uh, another thing. I keep in early redemption fee. If I buy this today and then five days from now I decide, "Hey, I don't want this mutual fund no more. I want to liquidate it, aka get your money out, get your money back." 
it's going to charge me fifty dollars, forty nine ninety nine for ninety days or less. Now, if it's past ninety days, then you know if it made a profit, you take the money; it's yours. The only thing you have to worry about is paying uh, taxes on it at the end of the year. If you gain, you know, if you gain it or whatever. So you go in here, you go into investment amount, you type in, you know, six hundred, five hundred dollars you want. You click this button here, preview order. It's going to preview the order. You place the orders, and boom, you have a mutual fund. Um, don't forget to like, subscribe, comment, share, all the other good stuff. Thank you guys for watching. I hope this helped. Stay tuned.